Hey guys, McJeffries here and welcome back to the Million Dollar Prison. Just a quick update. We just had a 196 prisoner riot happening in the shower block. Pretty much the whole of the shower block was was uh, full of people rioting. We sent in our five armed guards. Uh, I think we've only got... Let me just find my mouse in a decent place. Yeah, two of the armed guards got killed. Um, along with quite a few guards. In fact, you can see there, 35 people ended up dead. And yeah, it didn't it didn't go well for us. Uh, our morgue is slowly being filled up. I think we lost two normal guards, uh, three janitors by the looks of it. I don't think we lost any workmen. We didn't seem to lose any workmen or doctors or anybody like that. So I suppose that's good. But overall, um, we have 35 dead bodies in the prison, which is, is not very good at all. So, we're going to have to deal with that. On top of that, we're still operating at a deficit, um, which is also not very good. Um, and we have a minus balance, bank balance. And another riot nearly kicked off there. Something stopped it. I'm not 100% sure what. But yeah, that, that took a real turn for the worse. And all I was doing really was just running the clock down, waiting to get some more money. Um, so yeah, just going to speed up time again and see what happens. There's still a bit of misbehaving going on. Uh, and someone else has just been killed. I'm not sure who. What I do know is I need to really bring my armed guards back to the armory. Because... I think they're just going to go around shooting people now. In fact, where are they? They're stood in this corridor. Mostly. There's two of them. So we could bring them back to the armory. If they'll go, which they are. We're up to 37 deaths now. Which is still not very good. Prisoners are most definitely suppressed. Uh, it says two prisoners are rioting, but I have no idea where. Hopefully they get caught on CCTV and uh, stopped before anything else bad can happen. Right, our armed guards are heading back quite nicely into the armory. Or at least two of them are. I've no idea where the third one is. Um, but they can just relax there for a bit. Um, with regards to the workshop... We've actually done okay for the day. Got quite a bit of stuff made, which I'm going to sell. But I'm not going to sell the plank, uh, the uh, wooden log. Sorry, I'm just going to sell what's been made. So the planks and the license plates. See there, another riot. Riots keep they keep trying to break out. Um, luckily, nothing comes of them. And it's good that we've got guards close by as well to open these doors to get people moving. Definitely in in terms of uh in terms of the riot breaking out and prisoners being suppressed and, and things like that and weapons being carried around the prison. I think at one point we had a prisoner loose in the showers with a shotgun, which wasn't very good. Um but luckily we managed to get the rest of our armed guards in there to deal with that. Right, we nearly really need to move these people out to the uh, hearse which we kind of need to wait for and again I just heard the taser being fired something's definitely not right here prisoners are really upset about something but I've no idea what it just suddenly started or suddenly it came up saying there's a riot going on it was really weird uh, have the hearses arrived? they have cool and people are being loaded onto them, so that's also cool. Might start firing workmen soon, because I don't think we need them. Uh, or we don't need as many as we've got, and it saves a bit of money. So we'll half the workmen. Because right now there's no more building work being done, so I might as well half that. Uh, other staff members, I think we need them really, administrators, 
janitors, well two of the janitors are dead so they're off the wage bill anyway which is a shame um, I suppose that that happens from time to time so yeah you know this won't be a very long episode I just wanted to show you guys what had happened really um, and the repercussions of it these hearses are slowly being filled up and then they'll go on their merry way what it does mean is we have a huge gap in our capacity we got 45 prisoners who can now be admitted to the uh, the prison um, so they'll be arriving we've got 13 arriving in the next batch uh, so that'll be done I think one of the things was I, I initiated the inmate nutrition research grant which is where you have to give a single low quantity low variety meal for two days uh, which I thought I'd done for a second but apparently I haven't I'm 25% through that I don't really know what that entails but I suppose that's another reason why they're upset is because of the food at least the suppression rating has gone down slightly now and prisoners are back in the workshop you know working and uh, I imagine they'll be back in the cleaning cupboard cleaning etc etc uh, in fact whilst I'm talking about cleaning and stuff this part of the uh, the workshop here which used to be the exports place is now a cleaning cupboard and you can see it's maxed out for workers um, I'm going to be building a lot more cleaning cupboards around the prison just to try and get them all working because uh, I think it's a bit weird to just have them wandering around you saw at one point just then when I was talking there all, the, all these weight benches were being used and you see here as well because the prisoners just, just have nothing to do during work time because they haven't got jobs to go to so I think it's best if I uh, if I stick to that and put some more cleaning cupboards around the place right well we got a bit of money back um, so that's good and in fact I think I can go into here it is and pay off my bank loan so that's now done. Um, once I get the 15,000 for the nutrition research as well, that'll be handy. And I'll keep the regime up ready for that. So we're at 29% of that at the moment. Uh, and yeah, hopefully things will sort themselves out now. I really hope they do because that was quite a, uh, a worrying experience. What just happened. Wait for this to auto save. Come on. Finish saving. There we go. I'm going to make this staff only, but not the uh, solitary block, because obviously that defeats the point. I'm also going to make that little bit there staff only, just so that only janitors go into this area. Because you see, we've got CCTV, and we've got a power plant, and we've got the kennels, and we've got solitary. So to make sure that the right people go to the right places. You see here the. the uh, 16 in solitary with 5 awaiting still. There was a lot, a lot of naughty prisoners during that riot. And even here now, look, the morgue is still full of of dead bodies. Um, loads of hearses waiting to be filled. You can see it's, it's slowly happening. If I come back to the showers, there's still lots of dead bodies. There's still 33 dead bodies on site according to uh, this little thing here. 13 people require medical attention, 10 in lockdown, 12 in solitary with 4 awaiting, 3 awaiting now. It wasn't very good and I still don't know where it came from, like what caused it or anything. It just suddenly erupted. It was really, really weird. Uh, and now we've got a few bugs like this armed guard. I mean, he's not going to be going anywhere anytime soon, is he? And all of these people here need to be moved. Uh, I assume that is being dealt with one by one. This laundry room as well. I think I might start reducing the number of people who are allowed to work in the laundry. I think I'll, I'll halve it for now, but I might reduce it even more because we got 
eight washing machines and two uh, four ironing boards. So I think we only need about 12 people. I'm not sure. I think it's the janitors actually who operate the laundry machines. So we might not even need 12 or 10. Was it 10? I think I had 10. I don't even think we need that amount. I think we could do with less than that. Uh, right, the dead bodies from the morgue are being moved slowly but surely. So, I suppose that's encouraging. The workshop is still being used, which is good. We could afford to bring in some more materials for workshop plates, license plates, which is also good. I am contemplating removing some of these workshop tables, but then the main reason I was going to do it was so that items like this get moved into exports more often. But I think actually it was starting to be done when we got to the end of work time. Now we're in free time. Uh, guard needs to let these prisoners out any time now. That's slightly frustrating. They guard really needs to let these prisoners out. There we go. I think that was actually the dog handle that let them out then. But there you go. Doesn't really matter. As long as they get out, that's all that matters to me. Right. Um, still got bodies being loaded into hearses. In fact, there's a lot of hearses now waiting to pick up bodies. We've also got exports being loaded up, so that's more profit for us. In some ways, it, it's obviously it's it's not a good thing that all of this has happened but in some ways it's beneficial to us because especially with this new block going in and the fact that there was a lot of uh, uncooperation when it came to education programs it's almost like a reset button so now if we go into excuse me if we go into programs you can see the number of people who'd want to do the courses compared to those who have done blah 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 uh, there's a lot of people who are actually doing courses who have now died, unfortunately, um, but they will always be replaced. So that's that's not necessarily a bad thing. And he, even here now, free time, they're actually sitting at their benches properly and not faffing around like they were before. None of our chefs died, so that's also good. So they can carry on preparing meals. Uh, I don't think we might have lost one or two guards actually looking at it but I don't think apart from that we lost anyone crucial because the armed guards I was contemplating getting rid of anyway um, and we lost two janitors or three janitors but again I was thinking of cutting the workforce down to try and get the cash flow back up so it's not an incredibly bad thing and over the next few days in game days anyway uh, a lot of this stuff here will be moved into the exports and will be sold on for huge profits. So it's not all doom and gloom, basically. It could be a hell of a lot worse, that's for sure. Right, guys, like I said, this is just a quick update video and it's actually turned into 13 minutes. So uh, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we should have recovered from all of, the, all of this. If we haven't, then that's entirely my fault. But like I said, it's like a clean start now. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next episode now, guys. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.